everyone. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded any um, toy videos lately. I've just been super busy and my phone was very full up with um, photos and things and I've literally just cleared it off so because that's where I do my filming. But today I thought I'd review this Monster High doll. I didn't even know about this line um, and I saw her on Amazon. She's actually really pretty. So they look like a comic book line but obviously in the traditional reboot fashion it has no name to it but it does have some cool pictures on the front of with their original outfits on some different poses it's got some fangs and at the back it's got like these little pictures here which is the same as her outfit that she's got on yeah it says monster high and then the back of the packaging daughter of dracula there's the same picture on the back of the other two of them um, the the three of them and then you can also get frankenstein Laguna Blue Clear Denial. Um, out of the four of them, I preferred Dracula, so I decided to get her because I couldn't afford to get all of them. I think Frankie's the cheapest out of all of them. And yeah, um, I think I, I do quite like Laguna and Frankie. I'm not as keen on Cleo. I don't think her outfit is as comic bookish to me from what I've seen, although I do really like her shoes. But um, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool line. Maybe I'll get them eventually if they don't shoot up in price <laughs> massively. So I'm going to get her out of the box and then we'll take a closer look at her out of the box, won't you, mate? So here she is out of the box. Um, I just wanted to show you her bag quickly, won't you, mate? So, ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> so hopefully she won't knock the shoppies over. I'm shocked to say that it actually opens. It's a miracle. It does take some getting... <laughs> Um, a bit of force to get it open or maybe I was just opening it in the wrong way but it looks like it's got um, padding inside at the side of a cough inside a coffin which is pretty cool and it's got a heart inside it and then kind of got a bit of a hole in the back for her hand to hold through it and it's got like a little a little keyhole on the side I don't know if you can see it a little skullet keyhole thing pretty cute the detail's still there. And then it looks like a, a speech bubble, comic book speech bubble, and it's got fangs with a heart in the middle and loads of hearts all over it. Don't know if I'm going to be able to open it again, but it's got hearts on the back. And like I said, you can slide it over a hand and she can hold it. Put it there for now. So here she is. I'll just stand her up again. <laughs> so she doesn't have a um, massive amount of articulation. She's got very stiff arms. They only go up and down same with the legs up and down and out and they are posed in a strange position I don't like it when they pose their legs like this it's very weird I actually much prefer the non-articulated Barbie bodies than the monster high because I don't like the fact that the arms don't really go out they just kind of go up and down which is really awkward but I did really like what she was wearing and her face and everything. So um, here's her hair. So she's got it up in a half ponytail. It's not very well done though. As you can see, it's like halfway to the side. Look at that. It's not very well done, but it's it's nice and pink and black. It's quite long. It feels quite nice, her hair, actually. It does feel quite nice quality. And then here's her face. So she has purple eyes with a little bit of pink eyeshadow. And then she has, I think it's, yeah, stars. They're little stars around one eye. Are they dots? I think one star and some dots. It's hard to see. <laughs> and then she has a heart, obviously, on her cheek and her fangs and very nice, very pale pink lipstick and a little bit of blush. And then her outfit is really cool. That's one of the reasons why I really wanted her. She only, unfortunately only has the pattern on one side, but the back of it is a pretty pink. There we go, I'll lift it up. And she has a bow on the top. But it's not how it um, undoes. She has Velcro at the back. And then she has these plasticky bits on the shoulders. It is a really pretty pink, actually, the back of the dress, even though, you know, it's a shame it don't go all the way round. Yeah, she has these plasticky bits on the shoulders. 
and they're like a pinky colour as well. They kind of look a little bit orange on the camera, but they are pink. Um, and then the pattern on her dress is really cool. So it says ha ha, and then she's got the little skullets, and they kind of look kind of have like a diamondy look to them. And then she has fangs, and she has like her bag, the same pattern as her bag with the the hearts, with the speech bubble with the black heart and the fangs. And then it has loads of dots all over it as well. I really like the pattern and I love the colours. I love the blue and the pink and the yellow. It just all goes really nice together. That was what really stood out to me, the dress. I just thought it was beautiful. Very pretty dress. And then her shoes are cool as well. She has, oh, she has the same as her bag at the front. The heart speech bubbles. Again, but it doesn't have the little tiny hearts. Because it would have been really difficult to do. And then she has like little hearts on here as well on the straps she has that drippy stuff on the bottom of her shoes and then her um, heel is a speech bubble in the shape of a heart which is really cool as well like I said I just wish she had like a more you know more like a barbie body if you know what I mean I just prefer the non-articulated barbie bodies to these because it's a bit weird the way their legs are but she is still really beautiful um, I really like her and I, like, the main reason I wanted her was because I love her outfit. I just think it's really cool. I love the fact that they're comic book inspired um, and they're not making Monster anymore as far as I know. So it's basically, you know, what is out there. So I think this was, I don't know if this was the last line they made, but um, I think I saw people were reviewing these about a year ago on YouTube. So I guess these have been out for about a year. I don't know exactly when they stopped making Monster High, but I'm very sad about it because it's my favourite doll line ever. Um, but like I said, I'll still get them from time to time if I can find them for a reasonable price and they don't like go through the roof with their prices. I'll get them. Like I said, um, I would like to get the others in this line, even though they're not articulated. If, Like I said, if their prices aren't too expensive because I think these probably weren't released in the UK because I haven't seen Monster High in the UK for a long long time so I think these were imported and that's why like I think Laguna was quite expensive for what she is because I think Dracula was like 15 Frankie I think is about 11 I think Laguna's like 17 pound that's without any shipping or anything so yeah so um for what they are the fact they don't have articulation and not a lot of articulation not a lot of accessories but it is cool that she has a bag actually i'll put it on her hand a second won't be a mate so here she is holding a little bag i think it's cool that they came with bags and it's like a little clutch that she can hold it does look cool and it was elasticated to her hand but i took it off and you don't actually need the the elastic band i think it's probably just to keep it in place in the box let me know what you think of her let me know if um what you think of the other ones in the line like I said, I think she was my favourite. I really liked her outfit and Dracula is one of my favourite dolls to collect anyway. Abby's my favourite character, but I really like... Um, I've always liked Dracula's dolls. I've always thought they were really beautiful. Reboot and non-reboot. They're both awesome. But yeah, let me know what you think of this doll and the other comic book dolls. I think it's a really cool idea. It's just a shame they're not doing Monster High anymore, sadly. <laughs> okay, everyone. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye.